Avanti is here to help each person become a well-rounded human being. Through intellectual, moral, and spiritual growth, and so make the world a better place. Welcome to Avanti Hall. We're really excited to show you our school. Let's go on a tour. We're an all through school, so from reception right through to the end of Key Stage 4 for Year 11, where students can really grow into young adults and feel enriched and encouraged to take the next steps onto their curriculum. Avanti operates like a family. We're not a chain of schools, but a family of schools, and that's really important to us. Our size and structure enable our staff to make a real difference, not just in their own school, but across all the schools within the Trust. So the building behind me is called Thomas Hall, and behind this building is where most of the teaching happens. This is the administration block. The school itself is really friendly. Um, the staff really care for the children, um, and the, it's just such a beautiful environment to learn in. Science is a really lovely subject for most students really enjoy it because it explains the world and it explains their interaction with the world and what's happening. Students particularly love, especially in more earlier years within, within secondary, sound and light. Um, it's really dynamic making um, experiments with light, seeing the light split into its different colours. Um, can be really wow moments. We're so lucky here because we've got such an amazing site. We've got lots of outdoor space so that lots of the um, experiments, lots of the learning can be done out in our environment. When a student comes into Avanti Hall at Year 7, they'll be joining um, another class that's come through. So there'll be some students who've been here from primary because we're an all through school, um, but there will be a whole class at least joining. Um, so there will be a lot of new faces as well as a lot of faces who've been here at all. And through that we can really help foster our pillars of academic excellence where we, where we make sure that the teaching and the engagement of students is, is absolutely as good as it can be. Art actually is one of the really successful subjects we teach at this school. We had um, this year GCSE results in art and design which were 38% above the national average. So um, they're highly creative, our kids who come here. And they really enjoy it. They have loads of fun doing art. In the gym, we have lots of high-spec equipment, particularly the gym floor. Um, it's a sprung floor, which not many gyms, I've been to lots of different schools and not many places have a sprung floor. It's also up there, I would say, with university level equipment. The lower school, they tend to do more basic skills, teamwork, communication, and then introduce that into sport, which then also has an influence in their lessons. So if they get something wrong, it's okay, they learn from it. We've also got a front field uh, where we do football, rugby, um, and we also do some of the like javelin shot put, so athletic skills on there as well. Before I retired seven or eight years as head of the Faculty of Education at the University of Cambridge, the curriculum in the schools is extremely inclusive. Each school, I think, has managed to achieve very high standards in English and maths, in the core subject, so to speak, but at the same time has kept a very strong interest in the arts, um, in sport, in technology. So the children here get a very rounded experience. The typical day in a Banty Hall is that we uh, will be working towards uh, some projects. Uh, for my class, for example, we've been doing a project on the Stone Age, which uh, has been going on uh, for half a term now, and uh, this links to our English work, where we've been writing uh, diary accounts from as though we are in the Stone Age, a Stone Age boy or Stone Age girl. We do put into the timetable dedicated time to go outside, weather permitting. Once we're outside, we can be doing team building exercises where uh, we say the class might have a project or the task to uh, build a den in a certain amount of time or to um, build a structure for an animal, That's something I did with my class recently. And we tested that project by um, pouring water over the top to see if it was waterproof. 
meals we offer are pure vegetarian, but we link those with the Indian diet and the Western diet. Uh, amalgamating the two, so the infusion of all the spices and herbs and tastes uh, actually bring the dish alive. The children are then taught how that happens, they know where the food's coming from, uh, we try and teach them as much as we can, uh, and it really, really works. I think it's an amazing family feel. The schools really do work together, the primary and the secondary schools. There's a real feeling of inclusion across the whole of the trust. But in terms of in the school, it's a school really based upon those, those pillars that really do enable all children to really reach their full potential, but also strive to be not just academically doing well, but also kind of to develop their spiritual insight, but also really grow within themselves. There are many distinctive aspects of our schools. For example, yoga, meditation, the focus on values and character, and an inclusive form of spirituality. I hope you enjoyed our tour. Look forward to seeing you soon.